Welcome into Blazers Inside Access. We're sitting down with Blaine McCorkle of the Bellhaven football team. Coach, thanks for joining us. Bellhaven had a uh, nice road game this weekend. They were up in uh, Marshall taking on East Texas Baptist. They did fall 28 to 17 uh, late, some, some late scores from ETBU. But coach, before we dive into kind of highlights and clips, I just want to get your overall thoughts on the game. Yeah, another another close game, another game where we outgained our opponent and found a way to lose. And a lot of that is just uh, some growing pains of a very young program that's got to find a way to learn how to win. And uh, once we do, you know, we've proven that we're better. Now we've got to take some next steps and, and get the scoreboard flipped. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the clips. We'll start off here. This was a nice run from Mario Asagunla. Of course, he got he got the reps at quarterback this week, and he did a nice job, especially on the ground. So let's dive in right here and just talk about this play. Yeah, we got the ball first. They kicked off to us, and we took a nice drive. I uh, went about 12 plays and 60-some uh, yards, and this is a third and two, and Mario kept the ball. And uh, you see they blitz from both sides here. Mario's able to avoid the blitz and get about a 37-yard run to, to put us in score position here. Uh, on the first drive of the game and he, he did a great job all night really proud of how hard he played just got an opportunity to play quarterback full-time for the first time and he really took advantage of it now that would set up a field goal here from Cade Ganey that would give the Blazers a 3-0 lead early in the game uh, Cade really seems to be kind of coming into his own recently yeah Cade's been great for us you know the freshman from Biloxi who's just you know he doesn't miss he doesn't miss that's all you can ask for for a kicker and you know we went down there try to trick play to try to punch one in on the halfback pass from Alex Hawkins and Cade went in there and got us on the board for a three to nothing lead right off the bat. Now, one theme that we've seen a lot and we've talked about a lot this year is the defense, especially it's a, it's a young defense, but they really, I mean, week after week, they seem to be improving. Right here, we've got a nice defensive highlight. This is on the third down. David Lewis and Carlton Brown get in the backfield, uh, make the sack. Yeah, third and seven here in the first quarter again, and uh, they were able to move the ball a little bit on their first drive, get across the 50, and then uh, we were able to stifle that with the blitz here from Carlton and, and David Lewis. Um, Carlton has just been awesome, just a freshman out of the Memphis area, and, you know, David Lewis is a senior from New Orleans who's been here a long time. See a freshman and a senior making a play together. It's kind of exciting to see them coming together there. Um, but big third down stop for us to force the punt and give us the ball back early in the game. Um, but defense, as you mentioned, other than a couple big plays here and there throughout the year, has really, really played well and with a lot of, a lot of energy and emotion, as you can see there on that clip. Uh, jump a little bit ahead here. This is in the second quarter. Brad Foley had a big game. He's really, I mean, just week after week he's gotten better. We talked about how good an open field runner he is, and this is a nice 18-yard run here in the second quarter. Yeah, I think we had second and 11 here. Had a bad play on first down and, and handed a zone read off to Brad and he was able to make a couple people miss in the open field and get it across the 50 to really keep that drive alive and ended up being a good drive for us as we'll see here in a second. Yeah, so this is in uh, ETBU territory right here, third and one. And just go ahead and walk us through this yeah, play. Yeah, I love play. this play. Uh, went, went to a heavy set, it's third and one, put a couple of big guys in there to block for him, ran the counter, and he got five out of it. What I love about this clip here is Karan Pru there playing fullback. You know, he's a guy that's a, a all-conference shot putter for us. Never really played a lot of football mm -hmm. decided to give it a shot. And when Blazers can help other Blazers out in other sports across yep. the way, that's a great deal for all of us and it's a win for everybody. So love the two sport guys and when they can help us be successful, that's a lot to celebrate for our university. So really proud of Karan and what he's brought to our team. Now we talked about Mario doing it with his legs earlier. This is doing it with his arm fourth and four here, pass to Lamarcus uh, Caradine. Nice play right here, showing he can do it on the ground and through the air. Yeah, just on the fringe of field goal range here, I feel like Kate could have made this, but we were down a score or two here and, and wanted to try to punch it in and, and get back at the balance back right. And, you know, Mario found the Marcus there, puts us down inside the 10 to set up the play, uh, the touchdown play on the very next, next one here. Yeah, and this play capping off a 12 play, 67 yard drive. Mario hits it once again, hits the Marcus for a touchdown, makes it a 14 10 game and really gives you all some, some momentum in the second quarter. Yeah, Mario there avoids the rush. You know, he's about 6'5. He's the tallest guy on the field, so he can, he can see and he's got good vision and gets out of the pocket, finds the Marcus there in the end zone. Two weeks in a row that Mario's found the Marcus in the end zone, so those two got a nice, nice combination going right now, and hopefully they can keep building on it. Now, another big third down play defensively. Uh, Chris Cobb getting in the backfield this time and uh, getting the sack. Nice job, nice, just nice pressure from the defense. Yeah, another another freshman again. Chris Cobb, freshman from up in the Huntsville area. Went to Bob Jones High School there in Alabama. I think we've got about 20 kids from Alabama on our roster, and they're all young and they're all contributing. So that's been a really fertile area for us, and we're excited about that. But Chris Cobb plays with a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, and, and he is disruptive. So he's going to have a great future for us as well. But that was a big third down stop, forced them to punt and give us the ball back. Uh, in the second quarter to give us a chance to take the lead. Now Brad had over 150 yards rushing in the day. His biggest chunk came right here, 50 yard plus run to score. We give the Blazers the lead, getting ready to go into halftime. And Brad, once again, open field works his magic. Yeah, he did. I think he was pretty much untouched here. It's really well blocked play up front. Uh, it's a play that we've schemed up for a while. It's a play that I've run for a lot of years. 
Um, shout out to the University of Delaware. Bill Poland's a, a good coach and friend of mine, and he showed me this play several years ago, and it's had a lot of success over the years. And Brad was able to take it for 57 yards untouched, and um, big, big day for Brad. He's really coming to his own here midseason, so really excited about what he's doing. Now, a name that we've heard a lot on defense this year has been Faze Unlock. He's forced a number of fumbles. Uh, he, he's been one of your leading tacklers from a defensive back um, position. And right here, he makes a big play. This is in the third quarter, a nice stop from Faze on. Yeah, a big stop. And you look at this and you say, well, that's a you know, eight, nine yard game, but it is fourth down. Yep. And, you know, and, and we really um, work a lot on third and fourth down situations in practice. Uh, on Wednesday, that's a big emphasis for us. So, you know, him being aware of where the chains are, playing a little bit off in coverage and coming up and stopping that guy short is a really big time play for Faison. And he does a lot of things really well. I think right now he's uh, leading the conference in forced fumbles. And then TJ on the other side is maybe leading the conference in pass breakups. Mm -hmm. So those guys are getting targeted. They're getting a lot of balls coming at them, yeah. but they're doing a lot of really good things as well. Yeah, now Blazers would fall 28-17 on the road. Tough to contest. I want to just kind of get your thoughts real quick. Just uh, where you thought that the Bellhaven could have improved. You talk about building, building this winning culture. I bring that up a lot because that's something I like. I like that idea of building that mentality. Where's, where's the aspects of the game that you thought we could have improved in? Well, we, we did get a little sloppy here and there. Consistency, we've got to be more consistent. Some of that does come with youth, but we can't use that as an excuse. We've got to learn to get past that. You know, To go into Marshall, Texas and take the lead at halftime uh, and to come away 28 to 17, you know, that's a team that the previous four years have averaged 57 points against Belhaven. Mm -hmm. So that, that is, again, definitely marked improvement, but we're not satisfied with that. We've got to be more consistent. Um, you know, we, we gave up one long drive to start the third quarter on defense. Other than that, we, we held them at bay pretty much all day. And just the inconsistency on offense, we had a big penalty on special teams. So um, just cleaning our game up, just playing more clean, solid football for four quarters is really going to help us get over the hump. Yeah, and then we talked to, obviously we've talked a lot about defense and, and I keep bringing it up just because I, I'm impressed week after week. It seems like to find new ways to get big stops. Uh, this week, gave up just 21 points, seven of their points came on a, on a forced fumble in the end zone right. on the offensive side of the ball. But I mean, the defense has not allowed more than 28 points a season. Their total seems to consistently go down. Uh, what does that mean? Is that a mentality thing? Or are they just, you know, is that just a hunger to be better week after week? Well, it starts with our defensive staff. Steve Carson and, and those guys on defense, they do a great job every week just scouting guys out and putting guys in position to make plays and you know finding good matchups you know the last couple of weeks i think on third and fourth down especially i think you know they were three of 13 on third down which is great um, they did a good job finding matchups up front to get some guys free to get in the backfield um, so a lot of credit goes to our staff and then our defense plays with a great energy if anybody comes to watch us practice you can hear our defense mm -hmm. all over campus during practice yep. and they are locked in and they're loud and they're vocal and uh I think you know, they're a group that's just going to continue to grow and get better as we go. Now let's jump ahead. We're this Saturday hosting Southwestern. They're coming off of a, a bit of a surprise loss at home against Sol Ross, so they're definitely going to be looking to, to kind of get back on the right track. What is, what's kind of your message to the guys this week as you look for a big home win? Well, when you play Southwestern, you've got to play disciplined football. There's no question about that. You know, they run the triple option. They do it really, really well. Um, you know, I think they've had a few injuries here the last couple of weeks that have hampered them, but they are a good football team. You've got to make no mistake about that. You know, Joe Austin does a great job over there. I think he is a tough, old-school football coach, and I like the way they play. I like their style. So uh, we've got our work cut out for us, and we've got to be disciplined, and we've got to be physical, and we've got to be ready to play Saturday. And, you know, I expect a four-quarter fist fight against these guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Blazers will be in action this weekend. They're going to host Southwestern. Uh, nice weather on the uh, so far on the forecast uh, for that game, but it's going to be a big matchup. Blazers looking for their second ASC win as they continue to, to grind it away, and uh, they're about halfway through the season, but off to a, a fairly good start, a lot of improvement this year, Coach. That's right. Thanks, Kenny.